if you don't take a risk as an actor when you have a job, um, you're probably not going to be good because you played it too safe. Every actor learns that very early on. In the sprawling landscape of Hollywood, especially in the Western genre, Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott tag-teamed some five decades ago. These two artists, who pursued rich careers of their own, found themselves teaming up, setting the stage for a journey marked by shared triumphs, mutual admiration, and a steadfast commitment to the Western genre. From their humble beginnings as aspiring actors to their status as revered icons of cowboy folklore, their collaborative journey has left an indelible mark on the silver screen. But there's much more to the duo than what catches the eye. Finally, Tom Selleck has confirmed the truth after many years of working with Sam Elliott. Join us as we explore the lives, careers, and artistic partnerships of these two icons. I was, I was scared to death. I had, uh, I had done a taxi a long time before, yeah. but I hadn't done a sitcom. And... The duo that transformed the Western genre. Both Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott emerged during a transformative era in Hollywood, where the rugged, quintessentially American persona of the cowboy reigned supreme. Against the backdrop of the 1960s and 1970s, the Western genre took off with the audience. It was within this cinematic landscape that Selleck and Elliott found their calling, each embodying the timeless cowboy persona with a unique blend of charm, charisma, and authenticity. Their paths intersected at various points throughout their careers, leaving behind stories of friendship, mutual respect, and shared experiences that continue to captivate audiences to this day. When the duo first crossed paths, they were both young and aspiring actors. They embarked on their respective journeys with a shared passion for storytelling and a determination to make their mark in the highly competitive realm of Hollywood. Their roles in Westerns such as The Shadow Riders showcase their ability to bring depth and authenticity to characters navigating the challenges of the frontier. They also partnered up for the Shadow Riders as brothers united in a quest to rescue their kidnapped family members. Beyond individual projects, Selleck and Elliott's collective body of work has had a lasting impact on the Western genre. Their portrayals of rugged cowboys and lawmen have become synonymous with American folklore, inspiring generations of filmmakers and actors. Whether riding across the vast plains or facing off against outlaws, they have embodied the spirit of the Old West, preserving its legacy for future audiences to appreciate. To make sense of their collaborative efforts, let's take a step back and explore their stories one by one. Tom Selleck's Story Born on January 29, 1945, Thomas William Selleck is renowned for his versatility and commanding screen presence. His illustrious career spans decades, marked by iconic roles that have solidified his status as a beloved figure in both television and film. Selleck catapulted to fame with his breakout role as the charismatic private investigator Thomas Magnum in the hit television series Magnum P.I. that aired from 1980 to 1988. His portrayal earned him widespread acclaim, garnering five Emmy Award nominations and securing a win for Outstanding Lead Actor in a drama series in 1985. Since 2010, Selleck has graced the small screen as New York City Police Commissioner Frank Reagan in the acclaimed series Blue Bloods, captivating audiences with his authoritative portrayal of law enforcement in the bustling metropolis. In addition to his television success, Selleck has left an indelible mark on the silver screen with a bunch of memorable performances. Notable among these is his role as the suave bachelor architect Peter Mitchell in 1987's Three Men and a Baby and its sequel Three Men and a Little Lady, which was released in 1990. So far, he's commanded over 50 roles on the silver screen, including standout performances in Quigley Down Under, Mr. Baseball, and Lassiter. Beyond his acting prowess, Selleck is a distinguished veteran of the California Army National Guard. He served his country with honor from 1967 to 1973. Selleck is also known for his advocacy work, 
Currently, he serves as a spokesperson for the National Rifle Association of America. He is also a co-founder of the Character Counts organization. When he was three years old, Selleck's family relocated to Sherman Oaks, California in 1948, where he spent his formative years. He pursued his education at Grant High School before attending Los Angeles Valley College and later transferring to the University of Southern California on a basketball scholarship. Despite initially studying business administration, Selleck's passion for acting led him to drop out of university in his senior year to pursue his dreams. His acting journey began at the Beverly Hills Playhouse under the tutelage of renowned coach Milton Katzelis. His television debut came in 1965 on the popular show The Dating Game, followed by appearances in commercials for renowned brands like Pepsi-Cola. His journey into acting began with minor roles in films such as Myra Breckenridge, Coma, and The Seven Minutes, gradually paving the way for larger opportunities. Selleck also made waves with his portrayal of private investigator Lance White in the 1970s television series The Rockford Files. Following this, his affinity for the outdoors and expertise as a marksman led to leading roles in Western films, including The Sackets and Concrete Cowboys, where he effortlessly embodied the rugged yet noble cowboy archetype. However, it was his role as Thomas Magnum in the hit series Magnum P.I. that catapulted Selleck to international fame. Despite initially facing scheduling conflicts that caused him to pass on iconic roles such as Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark, Selleck's dedication to his commitments ultimately paid off as Magnum P.I. became a cultural phenomenon, earning him critical acclaim and an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1984. And yes, you heard that right. Selleck and not Harrison Ford was the frontrunner to be Indiana Jones. But things seem to have worked out perfectly for both of them. Throughout the Magnum years, Selleck starred in films like Runaway and Three Men and a Baby, which solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood. His magnetic presence on screen coupled with his distinctive mustache and laid-back charm, endeared him to audiences worldwide. In the 1990s, Selleck transitioned seamlessly between television and film, delivering standout performances in projects such as Quigley Down Under, Three Men and a Little Lady, and Mr. Baseball. His willingness to take on diverse roles, including his portrayal of a gay character in In and Out, demonstrated his commitment to challenging stereotypes as an artist. As for his personal life, Selleck's story is no less impressive off-screen. Selleck married model Jacqueline Ray in 1971, and during their marriage, he adopted her son, Kevin Shepard. However, their union ended in 1982. Subsequently, in 1987, Selleck tied the knot with Jilly Joan Mack, with whom he shares a daughter named Hannah, born in 1988. The Selleck Mack family resides in Thousand Oaks Westlake Village, California, on a picturesque 60-acre avocado ranch nestled in Hidden Valley, once owned by the legendary Dean Martin. Selleck actively engages in ranch maintenance from road repairs to brush clearing. For him, outdoor labor offers a preferable alternative to conventional gym workouts. He is also a skilled volleyball player, notably excelling as an outside hitter for the Outrigger Canoe Club in Honolulu. This passion for the sport also found its way to his son, Kevin, a former USC volleyball team All-American. Selleck's interests also extend to ice hockey and baseball. He's frequently spotted at Los Angeles Kings games expressing admiration for players like Anz Kopitar and Alexander Frolov. Additionally, his affection for the Detroit Tigers led him to engage directly with the team, participating in batting practice sessions and even making a pinch-hitting appearance in an exhibition game against Cincinnati. Selleck's immersion in baseball culture also helped him prepare for his role in the film Mr. Baseball. Throughout his career, Selleck has garnered respect not only for his acting prowess, but also for his philanthropic endeavors and camaraderie with colleagues. His involvement with Hawaiian charities during his magnum years and his advocacy for veterans' causes, such as his role as national spokesman for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, underscore his commitment to making a meaningful impact. 
Despite being perceived as a mentor figure in the industry, Selleck remains humble, emphasizing the mutual respect and camaraderie shared among peers in the industry. Of course, one of the most interesting segments of Selleck's professional life was when he tag-teamed with Sam Elliott. Let's take a deep dive into his life and career for some perspective before exploring the impact of their collaborative efforts. Sam Elliott's Story Born on August 9, 1944, at the Sutter Memorial Hospital in Sacramento, California, Sam Elliott was raised by Glenn Mamie and Henry Nelson Elliott, hardworking individuals with roots tracing back to El Paso, Texas. His formative years were spent in Portland, Oregon, where he attended David Douglas High School before venturing into higher education. Despite early aspirations in English and psychology at the University of Oregon, Elliott's path took an unexpected turn as he delved into the realm of acting. His talent was evident even during his college years at Clark College in Vancouver, Washington, where he showcased his acting prowess in productions like Guys and Dolls. After his father's untimely passing, Elliott's resolve to pursue acting only strengthened. He relocated to Los Angeles in the late 1960s in pursuit of his cinematic career. Before making waves in the entertainment industry, Elliott balanced his acting aspirations with a job in construction and service in the California Air National Guard's 146th Airlift Wing. Throughout his career, Elliott's deep, resonant voice and iconic mustache have become synonymous with the rugged charm he brings to his characters. From acclaimed performances in westerns to memorable portrayals in contemporary dramas, Elliott's cinematic legacy reflects his enduring talent and unwavering dedication to his craft. As a seasoned cowboy or a conflicted hero, Elliott's indelible mark on the silver screen continues to captivate audiences worldwide. His television debut in 1969 as Dan Kenyon in Judd for the Defense marked the beginning of a prolific career. Elliott's rugged appearance and commanding presence made him a natural fit for Western-themed shows like Lancer and Gunsmoke. His film breakthrough came with his role as a lifeguard in Lifeguard, showcasing his ability to portray complex characters grappling with existential questions. Despite mixed reviews, his performance earned him recognition in Hollywood. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Elliott continued to build his reputation as a versatile actor, starring in a variety of projects ranging from miniseries like The Sackets to acclaimed films such as Mask and Tombstone. In 1998, Elliott's memorable portrayal of The Stranger in The Big Lebowski solidified his status as a character actor with enduring appeal. The 2000s saw Elliott's career enter a new phase with roles in diverse projects like Thank You for Smoking and Ghost Rider, showcasing his ability to adapt to different genres. Elliott's career resurgence in the 2010s brought him critical acclaim and widespread recognition. His roles in films like Grandma and A Star is Born garnered him accolades and award nominations, including his first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. In 2022, Elliott's portrayal of Shea Brennan in the Paramount Plus miniseries, 1,883 inches further, solidified his status as a seasoned actor capable of delivering powerful performances. Throughout his career, Elliott has remained a beloved and respected figure in the entertainment industry, known for his distinctive voice, rugged charm, and unwavering dedication to his craft. Also, not a lot of people know this, but in 1998, Samuel Elliott was honored as the Grand Marshal of the Calgary Stampede Parade, riding before an estimated crowd of 300,000 spectators. He has also ventured into voiceover work, lending his distinctive voice to various commercials. He has voiced campaigns for Dodge, IBM, and the American Beef Council, among others. Since 2007, he has been the voice of Coors beer commercials, adding his Western appeal to the brand. Additionally, he has provided narration for Ram Trucks commercials since 2010. Elliott began voicing Smokey Bear in 2008, coinciding with the mascot's birth date. He has also narrated introductions for NFL teams and was announced as the new mayor of Quahog on Family Guy in 2020. As for his personal life, Elliot married actress Catherine Ross in 1984. They have a daughter named Cleo, who is a musician based in Malibu, California. 
The couple resides on a seaside ranch in Malibu and also owns property in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. Addition Sam Elliott's story. Born on August 9, 1944, at the Sutter Memorial Hospital in Sacramento, when the two artists crossed paths, the duo first teamed up for a guest appearance in the first season of the TV series Lancer. The year was 1969 and the show had already established itself as a beloved Western series, captivating audiences with its compelling storylines and memorable characters. Lancer was set in the post-Civil War era and followed the adventures of the Lancer family, a wealthy and influential ranching dynasty in the American West. The patriarch, Murdoch Lancer, played by veteran actor Andrew Dugan, sought to reunite with his estranged sons, Scott and Johnny, portrayed by Wayne Maunder and James Stacy, respectively. The series revolved around the family's efforts to defend their ranch, named Lancer, from various threats, including rival landowners, outlaws, and hostile Native American tribes. Against the backdrop of the sprawling California landscape, the Lancers navigated personal and professional challenges while upholding their values of honor, loyalty, and resilience. Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott appeared in the 14th episode titled Death Bait, portraying minor roles Dobie and Renslow, respectively. The duo crossed paths with the main characters, the Lancer family, while navigating their own storylines. While their roles may have been minor in terms of screen time, they contributed to the overall atmosphere and narrative of the series. Although they were not yet the household names they would later become, their performances demonstrated their potential as actors with promising futures in Hollywood. This encounter also marked the beginning of a lasting connection between the two actors. In a later interview, Selleck acknowledged Elliott's resolute determination and clarity of vision in shaping his career path. He even noted that Elliott seemed more formed and had a clearer sense of direction compared to himself. Elliott's distinct determination and focus on his goals served as inspiration for his own journey in the entertainment industry. Despite being at different stages in their careers, Selleck and Elliott bonded over their mutual passion for acting and westerns. Their initial meeting on Lancer laid the groundwork for a lifelong friendship and occasional collaborations in the industry. Through their journey from aspiring actors to Hollywood icons, Selleck and Elliott have maintained a deep respect and admiration for each other. Further Collaborations the Wild West, though only a small fraction of actual American history, was a big genre on the cinematic grounds, and the duo set forward to conquer it. They returned with The Sackets, a 1979 miniseries adaptation of Louis Lamour's beloved novel. Set against the backdrop of the rugged American frontier, the miniseries follows the adventures of the Sackett brothers as they navigate the challenges of the Old West. Selleck portrayed Tell Sackett, the eldest and most experienced of the Sackett brothers, known for his bravery and resourcefulness in the face of adversity. Sam Elliott portrayed Oren Sackett, the level-headed and pragmatic middle brother, who often finds himself caught between his family obligations and the call of adventure. The series follows the journey of the Sackett brothers as they navigate the untamed landscapes of the American West in pursuit of their dreams and fortunes. Set against the backdrop of the frontier, it depicts their trials and triumphs as they confront outlaws, navigate treacherous terrain, and forge alliances in their quest for justice and prosperity. Fueled by themes of family loyalty, honor, and perseverance, the story unfolds with a blend of action, drama, and adventure, offering viewers a captivating glimpse into the rugged and perilous world of the Wild West. Selleck and Elliott captured the essence of the era, immersing viewers in a world of dusty trails, gunfights, and frontier justice. But their partnership was far from over. In 1982, Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott teamed up once again for the TV Western adventure film The Shadow Riders. Directed by Andrew V. McLaglen, the movie brought together the talents of these two iconic actors in a story set in the aftermath of the Civil War. The film's narrative revolves around the journey of two brothers, Mac, played by Selleck, and Dal, played by Elliot, 
as they embark on a mission to rescue kidnapped family members from renegade Confederates. Mac was a jovial and womanizing figure, a departure from Selleck's more serious roles. Meanwhile, Elliot depicted Dal, whose genuine affection for his girlfriend Kate added emotional tension and authenticity to the storyline. Although The Shadow Riders is often considered underrated, it anticipated the revitalization of the Western genre on television. Despite being a TV movie, the film explored mature themes of post-Civil War anxieties and featured nuanced character portrayals. This foresight into the evolving landscape of Western storytelling paved the way for more thoughtful performances and narratives. Their collaboration in The Shadow Riders marked a significant moment in both Selleck and Elliot's careers. Through their complementary roles, the duo demonstrated their remarkable chemistry and talent, leaving a lasting impact on the Western genre. Their partnership in this project laid the foundation for future collaborations. Even decades later, the duo found their calling in Blue Bloods, a gripping crime drama series set in New York City. Their individual appearances infused the show with a sense of gravitas and star power. Selleck's portrayal of Frank Reagan, the steadfast and principled police commissioner of New York City, anchored the series. Meanwhile, Elliot brought his trademark rugged charm and intensity to the character of Simon Boyd, a seasoned and enigmatic figure entangled in the complex web of law enforcement and justice. While their roles did not directly intersect on screen, their involvement in Blue Bloods underscored their enduring impact and versatility as actors in the crime drama genre. Naturally, people wonder if the duo is just as close off screen as they are on it. Rumors surrounding their friendship. Over the years, there has been much speculation surrounding the friendship between Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott. Fans and media outlets alike have often pondered the depth of their relationship fueling rumors about potential conflicts or disagreements behind the scenes. Despite the rumors, Tom Selleck has consistently affirmed the genuine friendship and professional respect he shares with Sam Elliott. In various interviews, Selleck has spoken openly about their bond and their shared experiences in the industry. He has dismissed any notion of discord. Both Selleck and Elliott have expressed admiration for each other's talent and career achievements. While they have collaborated on several projects in the past, there is always speculation about potential future collaborations. Fans eagerly anticipate the possibility of seeing these two iconic actors team up once again, whether on screen or in other creative endeavors. Tom Selleck is also all set to unveil a memoir that promises an intimate and revealing glimpse into his illustrious career and personal journey. With over five decades entrenched in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, the 78-year-old Emmy Award winner is set to chronicle what he describes as a thoroughly accidental career. Scheduled for release on May 7, 2024, Selleck's forthcoming memoir, titled You Never Know, is poised to offer readers an unfiltered narrative peppered with candid reflections on his highs, lows, and unexpected twists along the way. Selleck aims to dispel a myriad of misconceptions that have shrouded his personal and professional life over the years. Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott's intertwined narratives have left their mark in the annals of Hollywood history. From their humble beginnings as aspiring actors navigating the tumultuous waters of the entertainment industry to their ascent as iconic figures synonymous with the Western genre, Selleck and Elliott have left behind a solid legacy. Their lasting impact on the Western genre is undeniable with both actors embodying the quintessential characteristics of rugged individualism, stoic determination, and unwavering integrity. Through their portrayals of iconic characters and memorable performances, Selleck and Elliot have breathed life into tales of frontier justice, honor, and adventure, captivating audiences both then and now. The enduring friendship of the two is the perfect example of the power of camaraderie and mutual respect in an industry often marked by rivalry and competition. United by their shared passion for the Western genre and a genuine admiration for each other's talents, Selleck and Elliot have forged a bond that transcends the silver screen. Whether revisiting classic Westerns or exploring new frontiers in filmmaking, 
The stories of Selleck and Elliot remind us of the power of cinema to inspire, entertain, and unite audiences across generations. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't miss this video you see on your screen right now. It's truly unbelievable.